Kent County and Chestertown are kind of interesting. Uh, they're probably pound for pound more charitable and service organizations uh, registered in this area than in any comparable uh, area that I'm aware of. Uh, so there's um, uh, a lot of opportunity, but um, you know, and a lot of need. And when we we talk to our what we call our member agencies, the charities that we support, we talk to them uh, at least annually, but you know, mostly more often. And uh, what we found with them is that uh, they were hard hit by the recession. Now, the recession itself is over, but the uh, economy is running on a stagnant basis. And uh, pocketbooks really haven't opened up uh, in a lot of respects as they uh, had been before, before the recession. Uh, even more important for some of these organizations is that the uh, grants that they received from uh, uh, other uh, fund foundations and the like, well, there's a lot more competition for those now, a lot more applications, so it, they're harder to get. And uh, government support uh, through outright grants or other means has uh, not dried up, but has been reduced substantially. And you can see that here in Maryland, where uh, the legislature and, and the governor are having a, a tough time dealing with uh, trying to keep up social services and, and the like. Uh, for some, uh, we, we support 23 organizations. It's up uh, four from about two years ago. So um, uh, during the midst of this, because of what we were hearing and the applications we were getting, uh, we did increase the number of uh, charities that we support. And we had a really tough time in uh, 2009, 2010. And uh, if, to use a business uh, a phrase, uh, the bottom line suffered that year. We actually had a deficit for the year that for us was pretty substantial. Um, but we did get through that and kept our promises to the organizations we support, the charities. And um, as we started to climb back out of the hole in uh, 2000, um, 10 and 11, we added the, the four organizations, and uh, our, uh, our donations received were, and support were up that year from the, from the depth you know, of uh, the recession. And this past year was uh, kind of gratifying because it uh, increased more. Uh, we, we actually exceeded our goal in uh, contributions received for 2011-2012. Uh, uh, so I, the, the people of Kent County that, that support us really have stepped up and helped us in the last couple of years. So because of that, to answer your question more directly, uh, we do increase the, uh, what we call our allocations, our support uh, monies that we give to these 23 uh, charities. The bulk of our funding comes from individuals and uh, we are supported by, not in, by significant amounts, uh, by direct contributions from uh, corporations, but the individual contributions far exceed uh, that. Uh, and we have about 150 uh, donors who uh, provide us contributions of $100 or more, ranging up into the thousands of dollars uh, for an individual. But on the other hand, we also get contributions of a dollar. You know, um, uh, our, our executive director, Barry Frazier, told me that today she received a contribution in the mail of a dollar and 44 cents or something like that. And it was change, nickels and dimes. But, you know, but we appreciate that. And you know when, you, when, when somebody is sending that, you know that uh, it's really out of the depth of their heart and they're contributing what they can. Of the, of the money that we collect, about 65 to 70 percent goes uh, to, uh, directly to charity, to the charitable organizations. Uh, we run a pretty lean operation, but it's a small operation, and uh, we, the, we have the cost of uh, sending out mailings, which is probably the, the biggest single 
uh, cost of the campaign. And then we only have uh, one employee. Our executive director, uh, uh, Barry Frazier, is a part-time employee. Uh, and uh, so I think we run the organization in a very lean fashion. But uh, uh, being small, the only cure for uh, getting a lower uh, expense, uh, internal expense uh, ratio is to increase the amount of contributions that we receive. <laughs> Our goal this year is to collect $195,000, which is uh, up slightly from last year. But uh, more importantly, uh, we, because we in exceeded our goal last year, we're making a little bit of a bet on ourselves and we increased the amount of allocations uh, by 7%. So uh, we're really hopeful that the, the people of Kent County will again uh, step up and, and help us meet our goals.